Welcome back to Sonic Virtual Free Family Day at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art. Malcolm, this pop power exhibit, it's absolutely incredible. I'm blown away. Literally some of my favorite artists from around the world mm -hmm. are here at the Oklahoma City Museum of Art and we can all check it out at the same place. Like this Andy Warhol is right? mind blowing. Can't forget about Mickey either. Yeah. Or what about Marilyn Monroe? I mean, we're talking about true icons here. And yes. art is just such an incredible thing. It can challenge us, inspire us, entertain us, yeah. and really just give us an insight into the artist's mind. Yeah, and it definitely brings us together. And I'm really excited to check out one local artist and see how she brings her creativity to life. Let's check it out. My name is Adrienne Wright and I'm a professor of interior design at the University of Central Oklahoma. I also have a background in landscape design and landscape architecture and I'm also a local artist, uh, primarily painting and, and watercolor and drawing. Um, today I brought a piece that was inspired by the artist Donald Sultan who uh, is featured behind me. His painting is of a mimosa tree, and what struck me instantly about his painting of a mimosa tree um, is that it's not the typical mimosa tree that we as Oklahomans think of. Um, this is our mimosa tree. Uh, if you are familiar with it, um, it has pink flowers and, and you see it bloom in, in the summer. And it's actually a Persian silk tree, um, but for whatever the reason, in Oklahoma vernacular, it's been crossed. Um, Donald's mimosa tree is actually native to the south of France, uh, so I wanted to do a play on, on that um, and something that Oklahomans could connect with. Uh, if you're wondering what a mimosa tree actually looks like, um, you're not really going to see that many of them around in public spaces. As a landscape designer, uh, you're really not allowed in a lot of circles to specify this tree. Uh, it's known in, in our industry as a trash tree. Um, the flowers are beautiful. They're these really fluffy pink and white, you know, uh, wispy flowers. But when they start to fall, they create a lot of debris. And then as the tree moves through its seasonal cycle, produces these big seed pods, and so it's a lot to clean up. Um, but if you're interested in seeing one, you can drive around through especially older neighborhoods um, and a lot of mid-century neighborhoods, so like houses built in the 40s and 50s, um, and see these trees kind of scattered around. Um, so it's a, a big shape in the background, which is actually the leaf of the tree. Um, so it's painted all white, so it, it gives your eye something to, to stop at. Um, and then these little blooms, these are, are the, the shapes of the blooms before the flowers actually open up. So it's giving you a context of, of what the shape of that tree is. Um, and then the flowers, usually they're in big puffy clusters um, on this umbrella shaped tree, but, but I've spread them out so you can actually really see the whole form um, and they just kind of float across that big white shape. Remember, write down this secret code, SONIC20, so you can visit the museum with your family. Just go to OKCMOA.com to register. Oh, Shelby, I got a game for you. Okay. I love this piece. What's the first word you think of when you hear the word elephant? Oh, uh, uh, peanuts. D okay, that's that's good. Um, you know what? I don't think we're really good at this, but I know a group who is really good at this. It's the OKC Improv. Let's check them out. All right, if everybody will check their signaling button, TJ. Cool, 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 cool. Tiffany. Ding a ling a ling a ling. All right. <laughs> Your first statement, we need a question from you, is your favorite queen or soup? <laughs> Colin. Who is, who I make honey for? Sweet, sweet honey. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh. Cook, cook. TJ. Why I put my quilt in the washing machine to get it queen. That is absolutely correct. We'll have our oh. next statement in front of a different exhibit. And here we are in front of the Liechtenstein. Uh, our next suggestion is? Popeye. Popeye. Good, good. Yes, TJ. Where can I have to wait in line to get that awesome chicken sandwich? I'm sorry, that's incorrect, and they're not one of our sponsors. Burp. Yes, Colin. Uh, what is a superfood that makes me strong? Popeye, no, I'm sorry, oh. you're wrong. Tingling, tingling, tingling. A 
Okay, um, it's something that I want to do to my bigger brother. Yes, Tiffany is oh. correct. We'll move on. Yes. yes. And it's our final regular question. The statement or suggestion is elephant. 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 <laughs> DJ. It was a elephant night. <laughs> All right, TJ, we'll take that. That's the correct answer for the third question. On to the fourth and final round. <laughs> and here we are with our final improv. The suggestion is a painting you cannot look at. Contestants, you have five seconds. <laughs> That's too quick, TJ. Oh. That's still too fast, TJ. <laughs> yes, TJ. Voldemort. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Colin. Uh, what is George Washington? So close. <sighs> Tiffany. Ting a ling a ling. Um, the corner of my room when I sit for timeout. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Tiffany. <laughs> Woo! And as the winner, Tiffany, the co-artistic director of OKC Improv, will tell us what we're doing this summer. So we have classes coming up, and we'd love for all of you to come by and see what we're about once the shows start. Go to OKCImprov.com. We sure do hope you're enjoying your Sonic Virtual Free Family Day just as much as we are. And we're not done yet. We're turning the spotlight on another local artist. Yeah, and we're bringing in the fun and the funk with music from the Sugar Free All-Stars. Cars and trucks and trucks and cars. Go real fast and they go real far. 